Now let's look at how elasticity is related to the revenue. Here's the age old question in business. Should I change my price? Cause on the one hand, raising my price could get me more revenues. Cause you know, I'm getting more per item that I sell. But on the other hand, it would also get me less revenues because I'm losing some customers. I'm, you know, not selling as many items if I raise my price. So if you look at your total revenue, it's price times quantity. Raising your price definitely lowers your quantity. So it's kind of unclear whether their product goes up or down. When you raise your price, same with if you lower your price, you might sell more. So it's unclear. But if you know your demand elasticity, you can actually immediately tell whether raising your price or lowering your price will increase or decrease your revenues. So here's the thing about the demand curve. Although uh, they're kind of related, the demand is kind of related to the uh, slope. It's not the exact same thing as we just said, but here's the thing. Even though the slope is the same everywhere along this linear demand curve, it actually has different elasticities at different points. Exactly halfway, it's going to be unit elastic. The elasticity is going to be one. And on this bottom half of the demand curve, it's going to be inelastic. The elasticity is less than one. And on the top half, the elasticity is bigger than one. Now here's the thing. If you're at a particular point, let's say over here, on the demand curve, your price is this much, and your quantity is the x-axis, right? The x value. So if you wanted to find your total revenues, p times q, that's actually simply this, the area of this rectangle because length times width is price times quantity. So that's why this is your total revenues right now. Now here's the thing. If you're over here, you know that your demand is elastic. That means your customers are sensitive. So if you were to lower your price, you're going to sell a whole lot more because your customers are sensitive. In fact, so much so that your total revenues end up going up for sure. So we can generalize and say that if you're on the elastic portion of your demand curve, lowering your price necessarily raises your revenues. Your total revenue, P times Q, is higher over here. You can also break this down into what's called the price effect and quantity effect. Over here, the revenues that you lose over here, this rectangle is the price effect, and this rev rectangle that you gain is called the quantity effect. So here you can say that the quantity effect, what you're gaining, outweighs the price effect, when you're elastic. So your revenues keep going up as you move along the demand curve this way. And the exact opposite over here. Here, if you are at a point where your demand is inelastic, your customers aren't that sensitive, you might as well raise your price. If you raise your price, yeah, people are gonna buy a little bit less, but not that much less. And here, your price effect outweighs your quantity effect and your revenues go up. So here, you're always better off if you wanna make more revenues by raising your price if your, your demand is inelastic, if people aren't that sensitive to it. So you can make more revenues going up. So revenues go up in this direction and, and in this direction. So really one thing we can conclude is that when you're unit elastic, this is where your revenues are maximized. Your P times Q can't be any higher uh, than it is over here. Because again, over here, you can always raise it by moving in this direction. And here, you can raise it by moving in this direction. So this is where revenues are maximized.